For the better part of his life, Scott Nash has been an unconventional thinker. Raised in a liberal household where his father was a professor at the University of Maryland, he wasn't the studious type, but he decided to give college a try after he was given a scholarship. But I went there and I didn't like it. And um, the books were hard to read. I didn't find a lot of interest in the, um, in the uh, required classes I had to take. I felt like an outsider, pretty much, and I didn't like being there, so I quit after a couple years. It came as no surprise when he left the university, but what happened next would shape his future in a way he could have never imagined. Today, Scott Nash is the founder and CEO of Mom's Organic Market, a business he started in his mother's garage. Um, that went on for two years, and then I moved to Rockville in 1990, where on Monday and Tuesday I did mail order on uh, Wednesday and Thursday I did home delivery, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday I finally opened to the public for retail. His retail business officially became Mom's Organic Market in 1996. The first store opened in Rockville on Park Lawn Drive. Today, there are 16 Mom's Markets. We, okay. we have Philly coming, White Marsh coming later wow. this year. Located in Maryland, Virginia, Virginia the District, Baltimore, Pennsylvania, Virginia. and New Jersey. Business is booming. I'm very lucky in that I got into an industry in 1987 that has grown double digits every year. Now, I mean, I think when I got into this, like in the whole DC area, I mean, I think organic food sales were like less than like 10 million for the whole region. I think right now with all the Whole Foods and us and people, it's probably more like two or three billion. He says for about 20 years, he wasn't the best entrepreneur. He took most of the profit from the business and invested it in more stores and inventory. But in 2008, when the economy was in trouble, he was forced to change. We didn't have a drop in revenue, but the, we owed the bank uh, like a million dollars, and the banks were panicking at the time. And our loan was coming due like in eight months, and I was pretty. And I called them to make sure they were going to renew it, and they weren't even calling me back. So I, you know, we kind of rallied and circled the wagons and said, we have to pay off this loan like in eight, nine months. Let's get this business. Let's look at every item line, and we did and we became efficient then, we got good metrics, um, we stopped wasting a lot of money. And what sets Moms apart from those other boutique grocery stores? We only sell 100%, the highest quality, 100% organic produce, so there's no uh, conventional chemical produce in our produce department. Our service is remarkable. We have an incredible selection of products, both in, with the ingredients, uh, the ingredient standards, and just the unique and high quality, hard to find products. Mm -hmm. We also create a shopping experience that is very stress-free. Uh, these guys are from Montgomery County, uh, Jehovah Jira. Moms gets a lot of its products and produce from local vendors depending on the season. Having a person who's working together with another Montgomery County business is something that we've always encouraged. Uh, it's better for all of us in the long run because what it does is it continues to help sustain jobs and our local economy. And it also is making sure that we're highlighting about the importance of locally grown vegetables and fruit and people eating healthier. And Nash and his team are big on clean energy. Mom stopped using plastic bags back in 2005 and hasn't sold anything in a plastic bottle since 2010. The stores are built with sustainable materials and offer recycling for batteries, cell phones, and eyeglasses. If you have anything that has to get to recycled, batteries, electronics, jeans, everything, yeah. and it's very cool. So yeah. I really like that. Thanks. I just wanted to put that in there. For uh, you. That's awesome. There are electric charging stations at every store, and employees are given a $5,000 check if they purchase an electric car. These things speak to our culture, and so we target our benefits towards our culture, but again, um, really, people are the most important uh, asset that any company has. The company is progressive in how it takes care of what Nash says is its most important asset, its employees. Moms pays a minimum wage of $12 an hour. Uh, to me, this is not charity. This is an investment. Um, it's a smart investment. We get people who are more dedicated to us. Uh, you know, we don't have to, we don't have this big high turnover rate, which costs training and, and you know, the customer will suffer, you know, when somebody with experience leaves and, and you know, has to wait for the new person to um, get up to speed. Um, you know, and, and then we offer a lot of benefits that like 30% discount on all of our groceries, a free lunch at our naked lunch counter. Aside from work, Nash is a pinball fanatic. I do love pinball machines. 
He has 12 machines of his own and recently opened VUK, a pinball arcade and pizzeria in Bethesda. I just decided, well, uh, I'm going to take my room at home and make it public. People love pinball, I've, I've come to realize, because we opened in May and uh, we're getting t people just going crazy on these pinball games in Bethesda. And it came with a pizza kitchen, and so we decided to do pizza and pinball and beer and good music. Um, so it's been fun. Nash says he won't be expanding that business anytime soon. He'll stick with his day job. And though he's a Prince George's County native, he loves living and running a business in Montgomery County. My company and my family are now headquartered here in Montgomery County. It is a wonderful place to live and do business. Montgomery County is amazing. The demographics, the type of people here, the businesses that are here, the services that are here. And I don't even think, I don't know what our tax rates are here, you know, but I actually believe like you kind of get what you pay for. Um, and so I'm happy to live in this county pay my taxes and, and live in a wonderful community and actually operate uh, my business in a, in a very business friendly county.